Hey guys, Spidey here as always. I hope you're having a marvelous day. Welcome to another episode of the Marvel Card News. Before we get started, if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, hit the like button. And if you want to see more Marvel Card news, hit the subscribe button as I will be releasing news as it happens in the future. Our first bit of news is that Joe Jusco, the famed artist from 1992 Marvel Masterpieces and 2016 Marvel Masterpieces, Marvel Card trading card sets, he did the original art for those sets. And there's going to be a Kickstarter that's launched to, on November 1st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And here's what's really cool about that Kickstarter is that we're going to have three editions to purchase. So Kickstarter, if you don't know, is a way to raise funds for a project through backers before the project is actually, you know, produced. That way, the producers know they have the, the funds to make the project. And here's what's going to happen. We're going to have an opportunity to get a deluxe hardcover edition with dust jacket. Think of a coffee table type book that's going to have all of the art from the 1992 Marvel Masterpiece set inside of it. That's going to be priced at $59. The second tier is going to be a signed and numbered slipcase edition, which will be limited to just 1,992 copies. You know, pointing back to the year 1992 for the original Marvel Masterpiece set. And the price for that will be $295. And each of these copies will contain a trading card, a 3D trading card made of bronze, solid heavyweight. It feels like it's going to be like a paperweight, but it's going to be of the famous Spider-Man painting, which is pretty cool. But there will only be 1,992 copies of those, and it'll be priced at $295 each. And the third tier, which is insane, is an original painted masterpiece edition. Limited to only 104 copies because that's how many cards there were in the set. And each will contain an original, fantastic character painting that is Joe's homage to the paintings that he produced 30 years ago. So simply stated, you're going to get an actual painting from Joe Jusco of the card of, of a card from 1992 Marvel Masterpieces because Joe has only created one painting of each character at the same size of his original 1992 paintings and the price for that Kickstarter with the third tier for the original painted masterpiece edition will be $2,500 per copy so rather steep anyways this project releases on Kickstarter on November 1st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And stay tuned to the channel as I will bring you more news as that Kickstarter launches. Will it fund? I say it's a 100% chance. Yes, it will fund. I think really the biggest struggle we're gonna have is not everybody's gonna be able to get the, the tier one, I mean, excuse me, not everyone's gonna be able to get the tier two or tier three, but it does appear that everyone will have an opportunity for the tier one to at least get a copy of the book. We have what is possibly going to be our next release of a Marvel trading card set. It appears that that's going to be Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse hobby boxes that's going to release according to Steel City, who is giving shipping notifications to people who have put in their pre-orders of November the 9th. So not very long from now, we may start seeing these boxes, you know, hit collectors' hands. And yeah, it's gonna be a fun set. Each hobby box is gonna have exclusive stickers, My Story Rainbow foiled cards, Spider PI parallel cards, One Dimension Collide lentic lenticular cards per box on average. And you're gonna have you know a variety of talented autographs from actors across the film, along with one of one sketch cards. So. It's going to be a fun set not what i'm thinking is a high-end set you're going to get 15 packs per box seven cards per pack eight boxes per inner case with two inners per master case for a total of 16 boxes per case yeah so a fun set that's long overdue i mean this movie released i don't know i lose track four years ago or something like that and we're about to get the second movie and you know now upper deck is just now releasing the set you know for whatever reason i'm sure there's all the, the perfect excuses for why that hasn't happened. But anyways, we're uh, now getting our next 
Marvel card set. So it is nice to, to be able to see some new cards before the end of the year, before Christmas. Maybe you'll be able to get this for your kids if they liked the movie. Who didn't? It was fantastic if you haven't seen it. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Anyways, with that being said, uh, I do have some of this pre-ordered, so I do look forward to getting these cards and opening them up on the channel with you all. So yeah, keep an eye on the channel. Like I've said, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button. And this has been this edition of the Marvel Card News. If you have any questions, any comments, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to get to them. But my friends, as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.